Hello friends, how are you? I hope you all are hale and hearty. And I hope you remember that last time we enjoyed and understood the chapter The Hundred Dresses Part 1 written by Eleanor Estes. Also, last time when we met, I left you with one question to think and reflect. I hope you all have written about it. Shall I repeat the question? The question was that do you think it is only money that makes a person great or the skills and talent of a person? And also I told you to take into account the experiences of Wanda. I hope you all have tried to answer this question and you all have become more clear about the values in life. The values that hold importance throughout the life. We all can say that the materialistic things like wealth, possessions, they are very short-lived. But the talent, skills and values of a person are eternal. With this positive note, let's continue the chapter. And today, we are going to take up the exercises related to our chapter the hundred dresses part one so let's begin so let's quickly sum up the chapter it was monday wanda was not in her seat and nobody noticed her wanda a quiet girl rarely said something no one knows why she lived at boggins heights and her feet had mud on them students thought of wanda outside the school hours to have fun with her but she did not come on Tuesday also. Wednesday, Peggy and Maddie thought of Wanda. Both were very good friends, wanted to have fun with Wanda, thus noticed her absence. Wanda's name was considered funny in room number 13. Wanda had no friends, wore a faded blue clean dress. Girls surrounded her in the schoolyard to make fun. Peggy made fun of Wanda the most, asking how many dresses she had and how many pairs of shoes. Wanda would answer a hundred and shoes sixty. All girls laughed at her. Peggy was not really cruel. She would say why Wanda had spoken of her hundred dresses. Medi felt bad that they had been bothering Wanda like that because she was also poor. She wishes Peggy to stop teasing Wanda, but pictures herself in Wanda's place. Medi remembers Wanda's pale blue and green with red dresses. Miss Messon, the teacher organized a drawing competition for the girls and motor boat designing for boys. The drawing contest was expected to be won by Peggy. The next day, as they entered the classroom, they stopped, short, grasped, hundred sketches of dresses all over the room, all beautiful in bright colors. Miss Messon announced Jack Beggles won for the boys and Wanda for girls. Wanda was absent. The class was astonished to know that Wanda could draw. The children clapped their hands and the sketches were all beautiful and different. The blue and the green dress once spoken by Wanda was identified by Peggy and Medi. They were shocked to know her great quality of drawing. So let's try some of the MCQs based on the chapter. The first, who is the author of The Hundred Dresses? Options are A. Sudhamurti, B. G. L. Fintis, C. Roald Dahl, D. Eleanor Estes. Yes, try to find out the right answer. I hope you all know this. Yes, the correct answer is Eleanor Estes. Next, where in the classroom does Wanda sit? Options are A. 
in the end corner, B in the middle, C in front or D on rotational basis. I hope you all know the answer. It's A in the end corner. Next, which classroom did they all sit in? Options are A, room number 15, B, room number 13, C, room number 12 and D, room number 11. I know you all know the answer. Yes, it's B, room number 13. Next, who was the most popular girl in the school? Options are A. Wanda, B. Medi, C. Peggy or D. All of them. Yes, try and answer. Who was the most popular girl? Yes, the correct option is C. Peggy. Next, why did they wait for Wanda? Options are A. They were friends. B. To make fun of her. C. They cared about her. Or D. They missed her. We have already read this in the chapter. Why they used to wait for her? Try and answer. What is the correct option? It's B. To make fun of her. Next, how would you describe Wanda's dress? Options are A. Faded blue B. Not ironed properly C. Clean and D. All of the above Yes, try and recall. What is the correct option? It's D. All of the above In the chapter, we have read that Wanda used to wear a faded blue dress that was not ironed properly but was clean. Next, what did the drawing and coloring contest mean for the girls and the boys? Options are A. Designing dresses and motorboats B. Designing interiors and bikes C. Designing dresses and bikes D. Designing interiors and motorboats Try to answer. What was the competition all about? Yes. The correct option is A. It was based on designing dresses and motorboats. Next, who won the competition among the boys and girls? Options are A. Jack and Peggy B. Michael and Medi C. Jack and Wenda or D. John and Wanda. Yes, try and answer. What is the correct option? Who won the competition among the boys and among the girls? Yes, the correct option is Jack and Wanda. Now, let's try some more exercises. Here are certain sentences. You have to combine them with the help of the clues given in the brackets. The first one is, this is the bus. Now, the question here arises, what kind of bus? And the second part is, it goes to Agra. So, we have to use which or that to combine this sentence. Next is, I would like to buy a shirt. Now, the question here is, which shirt? Next, the shirt is in the shop window. Again, we have to combine using which or that. Next, you must break your fast at a particular time. The question here is being answered as when. Next part is, you see the moon in the sky. We have to join these sentences using when. Next, find the word. Now, the question here is, what kind of word? Next part. It begins with the letter Z or Z. Use which or that to combine the sentence. Next, 
Now find a person. Here the question is what kind of person? And the next part is his or her name begins with the letter Z or Z. We have to use whose. Next. Then go to a place. The question here is what place? Next part. There are no people whose name begins with Z or Z in that place. So we have to use where in this sentences. So we have to use where in this sentence. Let me try the first one for you. The first one will be this is the bus that goes to Agra. So we have combined the two sentences using that. I hope you can try the next one. Try it yourself. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me help you out with the second one. I would like to buy a shirt that is in the shop window. I hope from these two solved answers you will be able to do the next one. Now let's move ahead. Look at the sentence given below. The italicized adverb expresses an opinion or point of view. Let me read it out for you. Obviously, the only dress Wanda had was the blue one she wore every day. Here, the italicized word obviously is obvious to the speaker. It means the speaker is trying to convey that she had only one dress which is sure from the point of view of the speaker. Other such adverbs are apparently, evidently, surprisingly, possibly, hopefully, incredibly and luckily. Use these words appropriately in the blanks in the sentences below. You may use a word more than once and more than one word may be appropriate for a given blank. The blanks are first dash he finished his work on time. Remember you have to use the words given above. Next television is dash to blame for the increase in violence in society. Next the children will dash learn from their mistakes. Next I can't dash lend you that much money. Next, the thief had dash been watching the house for many days. Next, the thief dash escaped by bribing the jailer. Next, the water was dash hot. So try and fill the correct adverbs according to the sentence. Let's try. So let's try to answer. Okay, first one you try. I hope surprisingly he finished his work on time. Very good. Next one. I think it is evidently. Television is evidently to blame for the increase in violence in the society. Very good. Another. I think it's hopefully. The children will hopefully learn from their mistakes. Wonderful. Next. Possibly. I can't possibly lend you that much money. Absolutely correct. Next. It's apparently. The thief had apparently been watching the house for many days. Wonderful. Next. I think it is luckily. The thief luckily escaped by bribing the jailer. Correct. And the last one. It's incredibly. The water was incredibly hot. Very good. So I hope you all have enjoyed this exercise. Thank you. Now let's move ahead with another interesting exercise. Supply suitable word for the following statements from the box given below. The words are emigrant, refugee, immigrant, intruder, migration and native. First statement is a person who has moved to another country usually for permanent residence is known as dash. Try to search. Next, a person who has been forced to leave their country 
in order to escape war, persecution or natural disaster is termed as dash. Next, a person who leaves one location such as one's native country or region to live in another country or location is called dash. Next, the movement of people from one place to another with the intentions of settling permanently or temporarily at a new location is known as dash. Next, someone who enters a place without permission in order to commit a crime can be termed as dash. Next, a person born in a specified place or associated with the place by birth, whether subsequently resident there or not, is said to be dash. So, I leave you with this exercise. Search for the meanings of the terms given above and try to supply the suitable words. I hope you all will enjoy searching for the meanings of these new terms. Let's move ahead with another interesting activity. As we all know that our country is a land of diversity. Here, we have different cultures, communities, regions, languages, foods and many more diversities. Here is a column given below. Supply the suitable information about the different communities existing in different regions of our country. In the columns, we have different regions, the community residing or found in these regions, their food habits, festivals, attire and language. Try to collect the information and complete the column given below. For example, in the northern region of our country, we have the Punjabi community. Likewise, you have to search for other communities and complete the given column. I hope you will enjoy doing this activity. So friends, I hope you all have enjoyed the exercises related to the present chapter. Before we end this video, I would like to leave you with another question to reflect on. Imagine you have a newcomer in your classroom and he has migrated from a different region and speaks different language as well. Some of your classmates tend to make fun of him or her. Now, you have to write your role to make that newcomer comfortable or what do you think, what you can do to make that newcomer comfortable in your class. I hope you will reflect on this and write your views regarding the same. So, on this promising note that we will meet again with another interesting video. I say you goodbye. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and enjoy reading. Thank you.